Air Canada CEO Michael Rousseau has lived in Montreal for 14 years. When a francophone reporter asked him how that's possible while speaking so little French, Rousseau couldn't understand the question. I, can you redo that in English? The exchange came after the CEO delivered a speech to the Montreal Chamber of Commerce almost entirely in English. He told reporters he's too busy to learn French. I've been able to live in Montreal without speaking French. Um, and I think that's a testament to the city of Montreal. That's an insult for all the Quebecers because the official language here is French. At Quebec's National Assembly, politicians were unanimous. Some people are, are nostalgic of an era when all the big boss were anglophone and were only talk English. I'm not buying his excuse. Like, I'm a CEO, multimillionaire, and I don't have time to learn French. It comes during a debate in Quebec around a bill to strengthen the French language law amid fears French is on the decline. This is a bit of a powder keg inside of a dynamite factory. Mitch Garber is an anglophone business executive based in Montreal. I'm hoping to be able to lower the flame a little bit because most Anglo-Quebecers who have chosen to stay and live in Quebec don't feel that they don't need to learn or speak French. Are there many Anglophones who don't want to learn French? I don't, I don't see. I think, I think the CEO of uh, Air Canada is more the uh, exception than the rule. Instead of being stub stubborn, they should think of our language. Today, Rousseau promised to improve his French, saying in no way did I mean to show disrespect for Quebecers and Francophones across the country. I apologize to those who were offended. Canada's official languages commissioner says Air Canada normally generates about 85 complaints a year. Today alone, there have been more than 200. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.